Now, we know that volcanoes cause cooling, in fact, global cooling for the larger volcanoes, because in historical times, we've measured this. For instance, when Mount Tambora went off in 1815, that's the largest eruption in historical time. It caused volcanic ash and aerosols to go around the globe, and it caused the year without a summer, they call it, in 1816 in the Northeast United States and also uh, Northern Europe. There was crop failures, summer frosts, harvests that failed. We know that volcanoes cause cooling. Other volcanoes cause cooling, like Krakatoa caused cooling, Mount Pinatuba, El Chichon. These were uh, volcanoes that went, these last two are volcanoes that went off in the last 30 years. And these have all caused a little bit of global cooling. Generally about maybe um, eight tenths of a degree Fahrenheit for up to about three years. But these are small volcanoes compared to those immediately after the flood. We have evidence that some were so huge they block out most of the sunlight for a month or two. And these stratovolcanoes that went off at the end of the flood and mainly early post-flood were huge. Look at the size of these cones. These represent tremendous volcanism and, and sending up huge layers of ash and aerosols in the stratosphere. And these are just, just uh, in the Cascades here, maybe a dozen of them. It's just, uh, just a few of the hundreds across the earth that were going off early in the ice age to replenish that ash and aerosol layer left over from the flood. And all this post-flood volcanism reinforces the ash and aerosols in the stratosphere to continue the cooling for hundreds of years.